Well, hi there. This is uh, Chase Swift, and in this video, uh, as I'm showing on my computer, um, many of you need to, you don't know how to check the speed of your internet connection, so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I've just done the search. How do I check the speed of my internet connection? And you'll see this is an ad, but it's through Comcast. Uh, then there are several other websites. This one is Speed Test, and they will indeed check the speed of your internet connection. Uh, Xfinity, which is a cable company, they will also test your uh, internet speed. And I'm going to do two of them just to show you that it really doesn't matter who you use, as long as it's a reputable name like AT&T, Verizon, and things like that. So um, I do like speed tests, so let me show you the speed of my internet connection. And I'm going to open that in a new tab. So we can come back and check some other sites like uh, AT&T or Xfinity. But in this other tab, I am now at speedtest.net. You see the uh, URL in the, in the web browser there. And uh, please know that these are all ads around here. Okay, so don't worry about uh, before you begin the speed test. That's an ad, okay? Uh, this over here, these are all, in fact, there's ads all over. The, the What you want to check is right in the center. So don't be lured. They're just advertising. And re realize this is a free test. They've got to make some money with some advertising. So that's why it's there. Don't get flustered. It's okay. So I'm going to click on Begin Test. I'm going to go through and explain what it's doing. First of all, it'll pick, and it's already picked, the closest server that can check it. Now, it's already testing my download speed, which is on the low end. I'm out in a rural area. I don't have the best internet, but 7.81 is not bad. I can watch videos and all that. It's now testing my upload speed, which is even worse. Your upload is always lower than your download. Okay, and most people don't upload stuff, so that's fine. And then the uh, ping speed is how fast it can connect. Uh, and that's more important if you have voice over internet protocol, VoIP, um, which I use. So I have, that's pretty fast. It's short duration. Uh, my download speed is, it's on the low end. It's not great. My upload sp speed is actually terrible, but I, I get by with that. Okay, so let's compare these numbers. 7.79 and 0.77. I'm going to go back over. Let's check. And you can do the same when you're checking your speed. Um, this is Xfinity. This is a big cable company from Comcast. So I'm going to right click in there and open that in a new tab. And then we'll uh, check them as well. <clears throat> now, they are not, they don't have as many ads around here. So this is cleaner. But, um, and see, these are the different computers that, and I'm near uh, Denver, so it will probably check there. It's all automatic, okay? But they have servers, they have computers all over the country, and the closer you are, the better. I mean, it's a slight, uh, in, it's slightly inaccurate if you're really far away. Like if I was checking it in India, okay? If I was using a server to test my speed in India, it would be not as accurate. So anyway, I'm going to begin the speed test, and it's going to do virtually the same thing. It just looks different. That's the ping, which is how fast it can connect and, and, and kind of just, just the connection speed. And with phone or VoIP or uh, video chatting and stuff like that, you need to have that pretty good. 32 is a good number. Notice 7.81 megabytes per second download is, again, compared to a cable server, uh, it's really slow. And then I have 0.74 uploads. So if you look at my numbers, 0 7.79, 7.81, that's so close. So what the point is, both of these services are very accurate. Then I have an upload of 0.77. And then I have 0.74, so that's within three. Now, I'm not downloading any money or any movies. I'm not uh, uploading anything. So when you do this test, 
Make sure you're not trying to download a movie or anything. That will drastically change those numbers. That is how to test your speed. Now, if you're not getting the speed you think, there could be some settings in your in your router or in your wireless setup. There's there's a lot of little changes, and I would get someone that's really good with a computer uh, to help you with that. Or you can go to places like Best Buy or call your cable company. They're less likely to come out unless it's really low, and you know they're going to say you get 10 megabytes down but it might be 7.81 there's always a little gap there but um anyway that's basically how to test it um if you have uh, a real low 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 speed uh, there's just a lot of things to be concerned with just start uh asking questions looking online searching on youtube asking people that have computers if you don't know much about computers, just find somebody that you know, like myself, I guess, that could help you with those ideas, okay? Now, you're you're probably asking, okay, that's great information, but why do you do these types of videos? Well, I actually enjoy helping people on the computer, and I also, um, thanks for asking for this, by the way, uh, you didn't really ask, but I also enjoy making money, making a living online too. It's actually, I started as a second income st source and now it's become my primary income. And I do help people with that. And so if you're looking to make some income online, I strongly recommend it. It's the year 2015. Uh, so much is done on the internet and I have ways to uh, help you understand that. Now, in a real quick thing, I get paid, let me just give you a little teaser in a way, I get paid when people shop at Apple, Best Buy, Walmart, and thousands of other stores. It's really a novel concept. You'll find out all about that information when you click the link in uh, the description below. Uh, or there might be a button right below this video. But uh, basically, you'll just go to win with chase.com that'll take you to a website that probably will be this it may change down the road but i'm offering free information free uh to those that would be interested in learning a legitimate simple way you don't have to be a technical expert you don't need great internet speed but it could be a way for you to have a second income totally from the internet and it works automated all the time so it's really cool I invite you to check that out so with that I uh, I hope you enjoyed this video on how do you check the speed of your internet connection um, you can contact me down below if you have specific questions by posting a comment in the comment area of this video so I hope that it uh, helps have a great day this is Chase Swift